हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज डाकनाई सर एज ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर दैट वी आर इन इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन विच हैज ऑकर ड्यू टू द कोरोना वायरस प्रॉब्लम वी डोंट नो वेन वी कम आउट ऑफ दिस कोरोना क्राइसिस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एट होम एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ यूअर सेल्फ एंड यूअर फैमिली we can't implement the teaching learning process in physical environment like the classroom and the labs so that is why i have decided to choose this platform to explain you the remaining practicals i welcome you on this platform related with the theory already i have given you the all the assignments and the notes i hope all of you are working on that and completing the practical write up and the theory assignments now during our practical session already we have conducted the group a practical c practicals and we are uh, conducting the practicals of group b in the group b we have the lex program and the yak program now in the lex program also we have already conducted the five practicals and in that five practicals the practicals like uh, write a, writing the program using the lex specification to implement the lexical analysis phase of compiler to count the number of words character lines special characters from given input file already we have discussed the role of lexical analyzer that is the first phase of compiler is nothing but to recognize the tokens from given whatever the input and generally input we give to the compiler is nothing but the any kind of higher level language program and demonstration of that we have seen using the one particular tool that is the lex tool which is being provided by the unix also we have seen the lex program to recognize the vowels and the consonants from the user input third program we have seen the lex program to recognize the positive negative positive fraction negative fraction from the given user input also we have seen the lex program to identify the particular uh, whether the enter variable is valid or not also uh, in the lex fifth we have seen the lex specification to implement lexical analysis phase of compiler to recognize the tokens of given java input file so this part already we have completed in the lex program and we were discussing the yak programs in that first already we have discussed write a program for the yak uh, using the yak specification to implement syntax analysis phase of compiler to check enter expression is the syntactically correct or not through the implementation of calculator so as all of you are know that uh, phases of compiler consist of uh, first two phases like the lexical analysis and the syntax analysis and syntax analysis phase role is nothing but to check the syntax of the expression or the string which is being entered by the uh, user or uh, in case of the compiler it check the syntax of your program when you compile your program and in the yak second program that we are going to see writing the yak specification to implement syntax analysis phase of compiler to validate type and syntax of variable declaration in c or the c++ or the java okay so i hope all of you have got the what is the role of the lexical analysis and the syntax analysis lexical analysis role is to recognize the tokens and syntax analyzer role is to check the syntax of the expression so lexical analyzer utilize the different uh, rules and the respective action to do that now to specify the rule we use the regular expression and in case of the yak program we specify the rule as a grammatical rules with the respective accent so let's see the 
program now as all of you know the lexical analyzer and the syntax analyzer are completely dependent on each other if you remember the scenario that i told you in the classroom syntax analyzer always demand the tokens from the lexical analyzer and so here we are going to see the two programs like one is the lexical analyzer and second is the uh, syntax analyzer now lexical analyzer this program will provide tokens to the syntax analyzer to this program okay so first let us see what is we have done in this program now this program role is to just recognize the token and return it to the yak that is the syntax analyzer so already we know uh, the lexical program consists of the three section first is the declaration okay this is a declaration part where we can declare the some header files also here we have declared the y.tab.h okay uh, later on i will tell you what is the role of y.tab.h here okay and second section that is nothing but the rule section after this there is uh, auxiliary functions also which is uh, not mandatory and which is not uh, which is not going to be required here so let's see what is the translation rule section here now in the rule section you can see here we have rule section consists of the two parts the rule and the respective action okay so this is the rule and this is the respective action okay so what is the rule we have written here int or float or char and action is written written as a built in so this rule return the token as a built in after it match with the user input okay so if the user enter the input as a int so that will be get match here and that will be get written to the syntax analyzer as a built in so if in the user input there is a comma then it will be get written to the syntax analyzer as a comma if it is in the user input there is a semicolon that will be get written as a sc if in the user input there is a something which is matching with this rule then that will be get written as a id suppose if you write the rule as a int x then int will be get match here and x will be get match here okay this rule slash n and in front of that action we have written now this action this action will be for uh, matching with the new line when you press the enter button okay so when you as you know when you press the enter we are going to the new line so that will be get match here and it from here it will return the from here it will return the zero okay and uh, you can see uh zero here okay so this is the lexical analyzer and uh, what is this for uh, here for what purpose we have mentioned this file here now you can see we have utilized some variable here like built in comma sc id now these are being considered as a tokens also now these tokens are being directly utilized here now where they are being defined so they are being defined in the syntax analyzer here in the definition part okay so they are being defined here but we have utilized here so how the lexical analyzer will, will know where actually it is being defined so for that purpose when you compile this yak program it will generate the as you know it will generate the two files y.tab.c and another is nothing but y.tab.h so that y.tab.h contain the information about these tokens which is being defined in the syntax analyzer okay and so that's why we have mentioned this file here y.tab.h which will tell to the lexical analyzer that some of the tokens are being defined in the syntax analyzer which is being utilized in the lexical analyzer okay now come to the our next part that is the syntax analyzer this is also consist of the three section uh, the rules uh, the declaration rule section and the auxiliary function and here the definition section okay now in the definite in the declaration section we have defined the yylex 
function and the y y error function okay as i told you the syntax analyzer always demand the tokens from the lexical analyzer and that is the reason we have not mentioned here the yylex function because in the main part we have mentioned the yy parse function which will call the lexical analyzer first and then lexical analyzer send the tokens to this program to the as a syntax analyzer and then this syntax analyzer will combine that tokens and that that combined tokens it will try to match with this grammatical rules okay now what is this yy error function now the enter string by the user if it if it is not get match with this grammatical rules then this function will be get automatically call so this function we have defined here and here some message we have defined here okay when you see the implement uh, when you run the program you will get the clear idea now see the second set part is the rule section now the rule section this i have mentioned here comment this grammatical rule will try to match with the enter string syntax if 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 match respective action will be get performed so uh, all of you are uh, uh, very uh, much aware that uh, grammatical rule consist of the left hand side and the right hand side so in the right hand side we have mentioned some rule like built in then the variable list and then sc sc stands for the special character now if the input that you enter if it is get match with this rule then this action will be get perform that it is a valid declaration of variable now what is this variable list now variable list can be a, it can be a more than one variable so if you want to declare the more than one variable they are must they must be separated by the comma okay and so comma uh, there can be a another variable that can be a, as a id okay so like it it is like x comma y comma z understood that is the variable list so and uh, instead of list there can be a single variable also that is the id followed by the semicolon semicolon okay so this is nothing but our grammatical rule section okay so this built in so this built in are nothing but this part the int float char which is being written by the this lexical analyzer okay now the main section the main section consists here we are asking the user to enter the string and then we are calling the parser function okay and lastly here yy error function we have mentioned here which will display the error if your enter string not get match with this grammatical rule okay so let's see the uh, now here one more thing here we have defined the tokens that we have utilized in the lexical analyzer program and this program also okay let's see how to implement this part okay as all the, all of you know the our commands to run the lexical first we compile the lexical analyzer then what actually it is doing it will generate which files lex.yy.c okay then we will compile the yak program after this it will generate the two files y.tab.c and y.tab.h you can see these files also where you have stored this program okay i have already shown you now combinedly we will compile this both the part okay using this command and lastly we will implement this dot slash a dot out so this dot slash a dot out is not nothing but our generated compiler which consists of the two phase lexical analyzer and the syntax analyzer now see it has asked it is asking for the input so if i just give the input int x semicolon and press the enter so you can see here it is showing that hooray it is a valid declaration of variable means this is de this declaration is the valid means it is valid means it is according to the grammatical rule okay now let's see how this particular enter enter expression enter string will get processed by our two phase that is the lexical analyzer and the syntax analyzer okay so int x comma semicolon so here int so that int will get match here 
okay and it will be recognized as a token as a int and it will be get written as a built into the syntax analyzer okay x will be get match here and it will be get written as a identifier okay and semicolon will be get match here and it will be get written as a sc okay so from here we are sending the three tokens built in id and the semicolon okay so that will be get uh, combined together here and from that it will try to some uh, combined string will be formed and that string will be try to match with this grammatical rules so here it will get match here easily you can see the built in is nothing but int variable list now variable list is not we have enter we have just enter the single variable that is the also being considered as a, uh, under the variable list that is the x and the semicolon so int x semicolon okay so variable list is nothing but the simple id we have mentioned followed by the followed by this semicolon understood so in this way our uh, input that we have enter will get match and we can see the output we are getting is this one okay let's uh, let's try with some more uh, uh, input like int x comma y comma z okay so this will be how this will get match so int x comma y comma z in token will be written from here x from here y from here z from uh, okay comma from here then y from y from this rule again comma from this rule again z from this rule and lastly the semicolon from this rule will be get written to the syntax analyzer syntax analyzer will combine them and it will try to match with this particular rule so definitely it will get match with this part okay this part and in the variable list as i said x comma y comma z followed by the semicolon understood and then we will get the output okay so let's uh, try with the incorrect input so i just enter int x x x and i don't give the semicolon so it will definitely it must give the syntax error so see it give you the syntax error because it is not matching with the rules that we have written here it must it is saying it must be terminated by the semicolon understood so let's uh, if i give the uh, so float also so it is also showing you the it is a valid declaration of variable okay so okay student that's it uh, uh, that is the implementation of uh, syntax analysis phase of compiler to validate the type and syntax of variable uh, by taking the input from the c c plus plus or the java any declaration from this kind of uh, higher level language okay i hope all of you have understood the uh, whatever part i have explained you how to implement these if you have any doubt any suggestion you can please comment in the comment section of this video and uh, after this i am going to uh, upload the one more practical that is the implementing the syntax analyzer phase of compiler to identify the type of sentence whether it is a simple sentence or the compound sentence okay so don't forget to subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon where you can see the lower part of the video uh, so that you can get the notification whenever we will upload the next practical video okay so thank you very much and practice this also if anybody have the laptop at home you can install this part and practice the uh, this kind of programs okay thank you.